I'm Pat Burns, the Chief Information Officer at Colorado State University. And actually, you can summarize my job with four words. Uh, first two words are to minimize complexity, and the second two words are what you saw on the screen before, which is to ask, what's next? So I want to talk about the odyssey that we at CSU have been on, and as a community, the odyssey that we've been on. And I think, as you heard, we went live July 1st, 2009, on pre-release version 3 of KFS, and by we, I mean us. We had people at CSU from Arizona, Indiana, and UC Davis. So that was a team effort that we uh, participated in, and the community, I think, went live. And that was pre-release version 3. I never would have gone live on a pre-release version of vendor software. That's how much faith I had in the community. And we didn't have a plan B at the time. We were going live July 1st, 2009. And around January 1st, 2009, we looked at what we had left to do to go live by July. And we figured we couldn't do what we had to do to go live, plus continue to run our existing FRS system. We stopped development of our FRS system January. And we were going to go live July 1st, 2009 with KFS or not have a financial system. So that is community. And I think that was a great thing. So let me look out at you. How many of you remember where we were? We're here in 2009, 2010, and, and saw the implementations and implemented yourself. Can I see a show of hands, please? How did that feel at that time? That felt great at that time. That's exactly right. Good to great. That's our feelings and not just our progress. And, you know, we've heard both Brad and Joel talk about what happened one to two years ago. Uh, where's the stampede? We didn't see the uh, adoption rates that we wanted. Um, and the board talked about this for several years. And it was clear that things just weren't working the way we were organized. And we had to change. So as an example for us, uh, we, we saw development on KFS kind of stall. Uh, we saw code come out um, kind of late and a little buggy. Uh, and in fact, we took a seven year run up to KC before we actually deployed the first uh, module. And it just wasn't working. It really wasn't working for any of us in terms of where we were going with the future. And clearly, we had to change. And of course, we did. You heard what happened with Kuali Inc. Um, and we've refactored ourselves, we're recalibrating ourselves, and as Joel says, that's a work in progress. So where are we now? Um, I think you heard about lots of the brilliant things that Quali Inc. is doing, uh, and there's a lot of attention now to larger schools and complexity and dealing with the complexity uh, that sort of uh, has come along in the last several months. And I'm told by our friends that there are actually more than 150 customers right now. Um, but let's talk about where we are. Anybody read the book of John Adams where he has a chapter in there, Facts or Stubborn Things? Show of hands, anybody? Yep. So let's talk about some things, some stubborn facts. Hobson's choice, right? That's the only choice left. If we're going to succeed, to succeed as a community, we have to make sure that we properly resource you know, our development arm, Kuali Inc. Um, and we need more revenue. And if we have more revenue, we can further accelerate development. But last, in the past year, we've seen small reductions in Kuali Foundation members. We've seen small reductions in participation in some of the uh, projects. And so I'm sitting here thinking, so. What should be our sense of urgency right now at this point in time? And uh, you know, are we going to keep our heads in the sands about this? Or what do we as a community decide to do ourselves now? And I'm kind of halfway in between complacency and true urgency for where we as a community need to go. But I firmly believe we did great things in 2009 and 2010. We can do great things again, controlling our own destiny. 
but we have to do it together as a community with a capital C. So here's my calculus. Koali has to succeed. Let's see a show of hands. Does everybody believe that Koali has to succeed? Yeah, I see all the hands going up. In order for Koali to succeed and the bigger quality community, Koali Inc. has to succeed. And in order for Koali Inc. to succeed, we have to succeed both in the venues of software as a service and on-premise implementations. And we're happy to see lots of attention being paid to that by Koali Inc. today. And in fact, we have our provost, Rick Miranda, who's shown up there. And he's a wicked smart mathematician. And he's encouraging us to take good risks. Well, that was a risk that we took in 2009. But we carefully looked at that. That was a good risk. We ought to get ourselves around um, the philosophy that what's going to differentiate higher ed institutions, particularly state-funded institutions, in the next decade are those who wish to take good risks. Um, and you can see that our provost uh, has intentionally have us, has us looking at cloud services. So if we looked at cloud service or software as a service, typically when that's done right, it's better, faster, and cheaper for us. And when that's done right, it's going to be better, faster, and cheaper for on-prem as well as for cloud services. Um, I would dare say that there probably are no institutions that don't run something or have some service in the cloud today. You know, the exemplar is Canvas, I think. And, you know, Joel, was that was his baby when he was at Instructure. Um, can I see a show of hands? How many of you run no services at all or, no, or access no services at all in the cloud? Any institutions like that? No, I didn't think so. And what's really important for us is we're so hammered with uh, too much uh, issue of demands on our IT support and not enough supply of resources, people mostly, that if we can get better, faster, and cheaper anywhere, we can devote staff effort to other more important priorities. And if you look at where I think we have to go as a community with a capital C in the next year, we have to define a true baseline code with all the complexity and customizations in it that are common across our, all of our institutions. Then we have to have, that's the, you know, the baseline blue layer that's built into the code. Then we have to have configurability for um, needs that we have that aren't going to be in the baseline that might be particular to us. And we always have wants. And it's really hard for us to distinguish needs from wants. Can we be disciplined enough so that we reduce our customization? As Joel said, that was the biggest problem we identified last year. And this is our job before us in the next year, to march in this direction, to rededicate ourselves. We are Koali. That's we with a capital W and capital E as a community. And if you look at the ecosystem, Koali Inc. is inside that ecosystem. The Koali Inc. has hired people from our institutions. These are people we like, we respect, and we trust them. It's all about mission, vision, and values. We have an instrument called Koali Inc. by which we as a community can succeed. That instrument exists. It's up to us to make, take advantage of that instrument and make us all succeed again. And I'd like us to regain a sense of community. I firmly believe we can do this. And so the next great thing for us is that, getting through that next year, game on. And I always like that bumper sticker you know, that I've paraphrased here. May God grant us the grace to be the good people our dogs think we are. And if a year from now we can think we're as good as our dogs think we are, having done this for the quality community, we will have succeeded. That's the task before us. And I challenge us all, each and individually and all of us, to march in this direction. We don't have a choice. And this is the best direction out there. This is what we all joined on for. And it's time for the next step. So in summary, I'd like to leave you with the following three thoughts. Quality is for everyone. You've heard that from all four of us today. We 
We are Kuali as individuals and as institutions. Uh, and let's try to get, regain that sense of community and rededicate ourselves. And let's continue to do great things. We can do great things and that will be to our benefit.